Hi everyone. Now that you've made a project, I want to introduce you to the five different project views in Project Manager. This flexibility allows you to collaborate seamlessly with your team because everybody likes to manage work a little bit differently. The first view I want to show you is the task list. This is a typical view that you might expect from a project management software where all your tasks in the project are laid out in a list. The powerful part of the list view is that you can quickly sort by column. So if you wanted to sort by assignee, by priority, by due date, you can see all the tasks being reordered instantly. I'm going to sort by priority. Let's open up one of those tasks. Very simple. You can just jump right into your task and start working. You can also customize the order of the columns with a simple drag and drop. You'll notice that that drag and drop functionality is present all over the views. Let's check out the Kanban board view. This view is ideal for establishing workflows, um, production processes, where you can just quickly jump in and see the status of a task and start collaborating and just get to work. So we can see a to-do column, doing, ready for inspection, done. You can make as many custom columns as you want, creating a, a, a tremendous amount of flexibility. It looks like this design works almost ready for inspection. Here's that proposal task I opened earlier. It's present on this view too. So again, it's the same project in multiple views. And you can, and as you make updates in one view, it updates all over the software. Let's look at the Gantt view. Now this is the classic project planning and scheduling view. It's got a data grid on the left with all of your task details and a timeline on the right, showing duration of tasks, dependencies, milestones, and more. And as I use the scroll bar here at the bottom, you can see all the different columns and all the data present in the Gantt chart. A really powerful view. But it's also quite flexible. Let's say the feasibility study is going to take longer than I thought. I, again, can simply drag and drop the timeline and the entire schedule will update. Let's jump over to the sheet view. This is very similar to the Gantt chart, except there's no timeline. So you get to see even more data all in one place. There's simple text fields, so you can just click in, mark it as done, update the data, update the percent complete to whatever you want, 30%, how about that? and you're good to go. Finally, there's the calendar view. Calendars are an intuitive view that also have a nice and easy drag and drop functionality. Let's say site work got moved to Wednesday. Pretty simple, just drag it on over. If you wanna make a new task, there's a nice hover state. You just click and create a new task. This is one of my favorite views in the software. Simple, but powerful. So there you have it. There's five different project views in Project Manager, so everyone can work how they want. As they make updates in the software, it will instantly refresh for all other team members to see. If you want to hide completed tasks, you can use this global eye. You can use a filter to find specific tasks, and of course, there's a global search. I hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck managing your projects.